Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to customize this industrial grunge poster. So I have all my photos up and I have my poster up. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in my first photo and I want this to be my large photo so I have clip large photo selected. Okay, so here's my photo. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag it in. I'm going to move it into place. I'm going to press shift and drag out this edge and press enter. And I'm going to go ahead and come over to my layer and right click and then create clipping mask. And then just adjust it. Always make sure when you first start out you have auto select layer and show transform controls so that you can get these little dotted line to show you where your photo is. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and pull in my next photo which is right here and I want this one. I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the bottom. So I select my layer where I want it to go and I drag it in and press enter and then right click create clipping mask and I'm going to drag in my next photo I'm going to highlight my layer where I want it drag it in this is my photo right here I'm going to drag it in resize shift make sure it's where I want it press enter right click it making sure that it is where it right above where it says clip top photo here create clipping mask my last image is this one I'm going to drag it in. Oh, wait, first I'm going to make sure I have this selected, which is in the very bottom, so it's just going to go behind everything. I'm going to drag it in. Now, if it's it's possible that you may get a line right here, and if that happens because your photo is smaller than the gradient here, you can add a mask to this and a soft brush or you can just use your eraser tool, grab a brush, that is soft edged and you can just come over here and if you press shift it'll make a straight line and you can just erase that and it gives you a nice clean edge and you really need to watch for that on these gradient designs because it's possible that you're not going to see that hard edge until it goes to print and then you see it so just to be on the safe side you might want to go ahead and just add a soft edge there and I'm just going to go ahead and do that for this one too just to make sure so if I if I select the image then I can see this line and I just basically want to put my cursor right in the middle of that line with my brush so I've got my brush and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag a guide down here so that I can know where it's at that'll make it easier. I'm pressing shift and I'm dragging right through there just to make sure there's that that'll be erased. Actually the brush isn't really going to help. I need the eraser tool. So here I go. I'm erasing that just to make sure and you can play with it until you get it exactly how you want it. So I've gone, gone ahead and added my three photos and now I want to change this type and I want to change the color so I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to grab this little color here and I'm just going to choose a color from their uniforms and I like that color I just kind of move it around or you can turn off web only and choose whatever color you want click OK and then you come down here and you can choose the color from over here as well click in there and then if you wanted to change the team name if you want to make this bigger you can drag this up this is what's going to make it look customized I'm pressing my shift key and I'm dragging this out and then you're going to take this stripe shape right here and you're just going to drag that out so it's very customized and you, or you could make it more narrow if you need to and then you can move this out and you can change the wording here to say whatever you want I have caps um, change the name here and you can change the color of the name depending on what goes with your players and you can change the number and you can make it smaller or larger and you can also move around these elements if they're if you know if you'd rather have it up here change and move everything around and I'm gonna press control so I can select them both and you can move this out here so it's pretty easy another thing you can do is you can turn off these edges and I'm gonna unclip this so that if you want to use the poster one and you just want to use one image you just turn these off you can just stretch out your image, cover everything, pressing shift, and if this fit perfectly, you could actually leave it like that, or you can move it down, 
to where the design will show. Move your stuff around wherever you want it. So there's a lot of different ways you can move this and change things around and have it work the way you want. You can also take these letters and double click and you can change these properties, the bevel, the satin, the stroke, change the size of the stroke. So there's a lot of different ways you can play with these letters and with this template and this is just a few things that you can do with it. I'm going to show you one more thing you can do. I'm going to pull up another template. Okay, so I pulled up this vertical template and I just want to show you what you can do here. Besides the fact that you can change this to white with a color overlay and just use that for, for wording. Just put some words here. Or you can turn these off and you can add a photo. So I have this photo here. Drag it in and you can just have one photo in this area which is kind of neat. And let's say this was hanging off a little bit. Of course you can just go ahead and drag your grab your eraser tool. I had my cap lock on so it wasn't showing me the size. And you can just kind of fix this so that doesn't show and just have a white or gray layer behind it. I'm going to change this actually. I'm going to do a cover overlay and I'm just going to choose this background color so it almost blends in perfectly. Oh, turn off web. And now I have my team down there and I could have the individual player up at the top. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with this template and I hope you have a lot of fun with it.